I'm always delighted to be with Solomon News. This has been such a leader in the conservative movement and the Republican Party. Welcome to the Saul's Newsstand, News Rewind for October 18th, 2024. The Washington Free Beacon reports, Pennsylvania is such a mess. Top Democrats frustrated with Harris's mismanaged campaign in key battleground state. Democratic leaders in Pennsylvania are frustrated with Vice President Kamala Harris's campaign efforts in the must-win battleground state, saying the operation is, quote, a mess. Pennsylvania officials, party leaders, and allies criticized the campaign's weak relationship with key Democratic figures, particularly in Philadelphia and its suburbs, according to Politico. Many elected state officials said they have been excluded from Harris events, that surrogates have not been used effectively, and that the local campaign needs to do more to engage Black, Asian, and Latino voters. Pennsylvania and its 19 electoral votes are seen as a must-win for the Harris team. Although the vice president has visited the swing state more than a dozen times since replacing President Joe Biden at the top of the Democratic ticket, she is only ahead of former President Donald Trump by less than half a percentage point in the state. The Daily Signal reports, Biden-Harris admins Medicare shock for seniors. Changes made to Medicare's prescription drug coverage by the Biden-Harris administration and congressional Democrats without a single Republican vote as part of the so-called Inflation Reduction Act are sending premiums sky high, eliminating plans for at least 3 million seniors and making it harder to access medication. Seniors in some states face even bigger hits to their wallets. Under the Biden-Harris administration, Medicare drug plan premiums jumped by more than 90% in 10 states. Premiums more than doubled in three of those states. Making a bad situation worse, the Inflation Reduction Act's drug price controls will start to take effect in 2026. Those price controls discourage investment in drug development and will reduce the number of new medicines. And finally, The Hill reports, Momentum shifts against Harris in presidential race. Recent polls suggest that the Harris campaign energy has leveled off, while Harris still has a narrow edge over former President Trump nationally and in several battleground states, she has been losing ground. Poll numbers from Decision Desk HQ, for example, show she has lost four percentage points in the past month. In the past two weeks, there has been a slight trend towards Trump in some of the battleground states. In Michigan, she went from leading by one point to trailing by one, and in Pennsylvania, Trump closed a one-point gap to pull even with her. The Harris campaign has said it's not sweating public polling that may fluctuate from week to week or averages that could be impacted by partisan surveys. That concludes your Saul's Newsstand News Rewind for October 18th, 2024. For more political news faster, visit saulsnews.com.